Well, 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 hello everyone and welcome back to Tropical 6 on hard mode uh, settings building. It's a beautiful big city so far. Well, we got a beautiful big city. Yeah, no, it's not beautiful, is it? It's big though, however, ever, ever, as it's already spanning almost the whole island here in this area. And of course, we want to only continue expanding. Now, in the last episode, we have finished um, a lot of construction for the tourists and also entered modern times. And with that also comes the overhaul of our industrial sector and I'm starting with that of course from the very foundation of my industry which is my plantations and we upgraded them to modern plantations the hydroponic plantation it's called it is very efficient um, and it's just working by itself without any fertility stuff and uh, things like that however it costs me electricity of course and it costs me high school workers or it actually requires high school workers wait and with that, we do need to check out our problem here that we have now right now, which is my unemployment rate, which is a bit high for uneducated high school, actually 30 uneducated. Um, we'll just see how this turns out, right? These people should actually move over then to the plantations. Um, the uneducated, this is where we're building the animals already. These don't require um, educated workers, right? So they can just work with, um, they, don't, they don't require high school workers. They can just work on their own with normal workers. So this is also... I'm going to reduce that amount then. But it's yeah, it's going to take a while for everyone to adjust into this new era that we are in. Now with the new era, of course, as always, uh, comes a whole lot of problems with the factions as well. So I'm going to try and bribe me through some factions that I don't like or that don't like us that much. Like the militarists, the capitalists and the environmentalists. We could also go ahead and, yeah, well, give us some... Some bonuses here with my edicts that I have. So one of them, since we could afford it most likely, is the social security. This is going to be very good uh, with the communists. However, as we can see, the capitalists uh, lose further with us. And we definitely do need to do something that makes capitalists a bit more liking for us. One thing we could do right away is um, giving my citizens a tax cut. This cost me only $4,000 and um, has a cool of five years. However, it will increase the approval rating of all my citizens. That also counts in the factions, of course, because the faction leaders and faction members are part of my population after all. So this should boost it there a bit. We also have this uh, promise here right now, the housing happiness, which is really, really close. So I might actually just increase the budget for my flop houses and my my apartments in general and also for my for my normal houses there right this is going to cost me quite a bit for now but of course once the promise has been fulfilled we can tone it down there again a bit uh we also have the promise here for the environmentalists to build one wind turbine of course we can do this should be easy peasy there we have it don't even have the blueprint for it yet and it will basically just produce me a bit of power it's really not that much we can see the efficiency uh, based on the situation so up here we would have 100 percent efficiency down here only 34 percent efficiency so i'm just building this really here quickly for the promise there you go promise fulfilled and let's demolish that you wind turbine again and sunny flowers she doesn't happy. care <laughs> she's just happy with how things are and with that we get a bit of standing increase there all right also vlad orlov uh, wants a, a trade rod with us so just any trade rod we don't have that many trade rods yet there is already the cloth running with the with the russians um and also the chocolate right and chocolate with china as well the eu i don't have anything with the us so there is something here with cloth for us let's go ahead with one of them and other than that we don't really have the best trade rods at the moment right we need to still increase the standing here housing happiness fulfilled very good very important. This will also increase my support rating through the roof again. And let's actually tone it down there again with the flop houses, the apartments, and my normal houses because I don't want to uh, pay that much money for houses. Now, this brings me back to my situation with my tourists. Uh, as I can see right now is that most of my hotels are pretty nicely booked, right? So there's, there's not that much vacancy anymore. Here, there's a bit. Um, my two family resorts are completely full. Cabana villages are full. Um, some of the hotels still have some space, and that's it. And my beach resorts don't have any tourists. This one here has a few tourists. Is it making money with that? Yes, it's actually having still a profit with that. And the average hotel brings me in $100 per month. It's not that much, but considering that those tourists go to other places and consume and buy, um, it of course adds up then over time. 
So right now what we can see here is uh, there is a bus uh, getting the tourists all the way up to my attraction. I love this by the way. So it's full right now that bull bus almost um, getting the tourists up here to the ancient ruins that are making us not really a profit. But at least um, they're giving me quite some, some nice tourist rating here, right? So there they are. And of course we could uh, still improve on that with another attraction that I would like to add now as well. I think it was... Here, the Telerific uh, station. So it continuously transports passengers via cable cars between two stations. Um, it does require four uneducated people, which is fine for me. And we can have it, yeah, somewhere down here, right? And let's just see how we can place it. One is here, and the other one needs to be all the way up here now by the by my ancient ruin, right? So both of them will be connected. Let's actually quick build them, because why not? There it is. And ladies and gents, there we have it, a cable car in Tropico going all the way up and thus the bus is not really needed anymore but of course people can still use the bus if they like to because after all that's also a nice trip up there fantastic really and there it is ticket to ride of course you need to pay something ah, there is something very easy with Mason Belmonte uh, that is modernized and mansion um, I think I need to modernize one or do I need to build a modernized mansion? That's the big question here. Let's have a look at my mansions. Um, there it is, modernize it. Pleasure All right, and with that we get the five capitalists standing. And with that we have them. They're not really beautiful, I think. I mean, I love modern architecture, but if I have to take this one over that one, I probably will take that one here. Ah, look at that with the Russians, a car trade route, a very good one here, 41% and increase. Let's go ahead with 15,000 to the highest volume you can go with here. And since we have built the metro, you notice what? Uh, I noticed something. There's not that many private cars or vehicles on the roads anymore, right? There was one, uh, but the majority, majority is now, well, trucks. That's really it. That's how powerful the metro station is once implemented. And also, my next factory ranches are done. This is the cattle one, so that's milk and hide um, for that. And let's just, we can also change it, of course. I don't probably want to have cattle only. Definitely want to get, uh, goes with some wool there, some sheep as well, because we do need that for the cloth production, right? So that's just as important as the, the meat and hides industry. Another dual demand. Holy cow, they're crazy today. And research the global market economy or build a roller coaster. That's the militarists that want that. Uh, tropical needs right now as well. Dressed military with more parades. All right, let's go with the military standing here. The roller coaster sounds a bit easier to me right now. Let's increase the budget for all my hydroponic plantations. Um, we can also go ahead and increase efficiency in nearby plantations and hydroponic plantations by 10% up to a cap of 20% with the fiber fertilization. So we can boost these within it uh, within itself, right? Without needing another building like the manure spreader, for example. Let's do this. This is um, going to be implemented for three buildings and... Then we can also go with decrease the amount of jobs increase the efficiency let's do this we have many jobs anyway and i think that's most of the upgrades we can go here with ah there is still something here efficiency nearby pineapple plantations oh let's just do this it's cheap and upkeep increase but job quality is also increased the funny thing is they have different upgrades some of them right there is just one flat upgrade increases efficiency by 30 percent right two of those have it so let's go ahead and get this one on top and this leads to 200 percent production efficiency now for these plantations here crazy also finally finished our cargo airport in all, all its glory here so this is now basically a normal storage right and the my my teamsters will deliver the resources over here for export. So that's primarily stuff that's coming out of these plantations right now that are not needed in one of my factories. Time now for the Canal Uno business news. And there it also is. The first cargo plane leaves my Tropican Island uh, with 29,000 credits uh, cargo with it as export. And three people actually immigrated here as well from this. Cloth a trade route with the Russians has been finished. Very good. So this is giving us some $2,000 if we like to. Also a random blueprint. Let's just go ahead with this and Overwatch Tower. 
pretty sure that we could just afford this as well. Um, yeah, well, and this area is actually also going to be a bit of more focus now to me. There is some very interesting things here. First of all, um, we have the main road here, right? The main road actually ends here abruptly. I don't like that so much. I want to have my main road being continuously going all the way over there. So this is my... The, the big road, right, that leads through all of Tropico. Um, from one side to the other. And over here, well, 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 we have lots of space. And of course, we are now a progressive nation. And I would like to start now moving some things around, um, especially when it comes to my industry. So right now, we do have a couple of flop houses here still. They can stay, I guess. Let's let's just have them stay there. And we do have our plantations here. There's a room for two more. I, I will just figure out what we need. And then we'll build two more uh plantations that we can add here and this is all going to be major industry here right so we do have we do have lots of space here around my my cargo airport i would like to use this so the first order of business is that i'm moving now my plastic uh, plastic plant for example all the way over here and we'll just find us a suitable location for this so it's going to be, well, we do have a, a metro station here already, right? So I could start with having some plantations or some factories here. The car, the vehicles, that's steel and rubber. Now, rubber is already close by then, right, with those. So we can just safely squeeze it in here. The steel that is coming from over my two factories. Oh, yeah, we moved them, sorry. By the way, they would have a nice upgrade there now too for a lot of electricity though. Let's go ahead and also move the steel mills um, over, right? So those are the pollution ones. Um, we could have them a bit further outside so that the pollution is not being caused too close to my residentials. And boom, there we have it. Most of my industry now combined, all of that leading then to my coconut airstrip, as it's called right now, uh, where the planes are landing, of course, right spectacular over the factories. No, I think the planes are coming from the ocean, right? We'll just see how it goes. Hopefully there's no accidents happening. Now, we still have, let's just see. Oh yeah, the lumber mills. We can also move them over there. That's easy. There we have the, the logging camps. So in that case, actually, yeah, this, this fits together well. Mm, let's just see. Let's have them actually... Yeah, let's have them here, right next to them, to be honest. Um, there's no need anymore to have them at the industry zone down there in the docks, right? Of course, there's still a reason why we should keep this area here with the with the docks. I'm going to move the docks actually a bit further over then. Um, because we still have some fishing and boat industry, right? And this needs to be at the shore. And we can definitely have this one then somewhere over there. I think we need to wait right now. Yeah, for this freighter here to leave again. And then we can move them a bit further over. Leaving a bit more room for my Tropicans. Let's just check it out. My population there also. Um, oh, high school education is now very unemployed. I think there were lots of immigrants coming in because this was looking better. Or we need to wait there a second. Sure uh, election, we're at 69 support rating. I can... I don't need to rig anything, really. Let's also make sure that we do have our metro station. There it is. Metro station number one, metro station number two, and number three. So the whole area basically is covered by metro stations. So my people can get back and forth here as easily as possible. And yeah, there's the fumes. This is my power district. And it's only only the beginning, to be honest. And as we can see, my trucks have an easy time delivering resources then right to my coconut airstrip. Now, one thing that I noticed up here, we have the gold deposit. It's not that far away anymore from my normal industry. So let's go ahead and get this, this automated mine out there and running and then let's just have a, a tiny road leading to this area um and yeah the workers will of course be able to use one of my free um cars basically right so we can use the parking garages there and basically get this one then working so the workers can get over there let's actually quickly build this one and the reason why i would like to tackle gold now is very simple and that's electronics a whole new very prosperous industry for us Let's put the volume to the highest. There's only three people really needed for this one. They live in tenements and will hopefully just get there with their um, with cars, right? So let's just see his path. So he goes to the metro station. All right. He gets out outside here at this metro station. Hmm, where is he going now? This seems like a very strange path that he takes here. 
Is he going then by foot? <laughs> no, he's going into the garage, all right. And from here, of course, he takes the car all the way out now to the mine. But that's quite the distance, right? They have to cover in order to get to their workplace. And then he works here, producing me gold. Very good. So that's it. Gold is coming out now, and this gold we can use right away for my latest industry that I would like to add now, and that's the electronics factory. Holy cow, electronics are the new gold. And in that case, here processes gold and plastics to produce electronics. It is really expensive. 40,000, the whole thing cost me for once, and then 25,000 for each additional one. And it requires, well, high school people. That's pretty good for me too. 60 electricity we should have. And there we have it, the electronics factory. And I would probably like to add quite a few of them right away. We can we can go crazy on this, to be honest. Um, we have the plastic production right here. And yes, we can add two of them right away, like this. On the back, we have a bit of space available that I can use then for a fast food joint, for example, that I would like to have here, for sure, because there's also going to be residential zones then. And we still have room for some smaller buildings then here as well. By the way, my China standing is decreased a bit. So we definitely should check out my, my praising here. China, ah, we are at 100. That's fine with the USA. Let's push it there a bit. And the EU, we are also at 100. And... The Middle East we can still invite now, and there you go, also inviting the Middle East to my to my embassy district here, basically. Well, electronics is not the only factory that I would like to have. Fashion company processes cloth or leather to produce apparel. And we do have lots of cloth, right? We have three uh, clothing factories, to be honest. And I can squeeze in the first one here just fine. Let's go ahead and do this. And the second one probably then also. Actually, you know what? Let's have this one instead of the fast food joint. Let's have two of them, the fashions. There you go. This just looks good. And then we have a whole block of new industry coming up. And with that, also more jobs, of course. Mm, I might actually uh, be inclined to move that metro station a bit further over here. All right. I think that's better. Oh, and there's the car, uh, the, the plane coming. Yeah, you need to be a good pilot in order to navigate into that airport. Lots of stuff here. So this is the main hub now for my exports, of course. That was to be expected, 140,000. Very good. Let's check the port. There's another freighter coming in right now. Uh, there's always a freighter. And look at that. There's only a bit of coal, iron, boats, and plastic here being exported now. With boats being the primary factor. There it's leaving. And now we can relocate this. And this is exactly what I would like to do. We're relocating the whole thing now, the whole industry um, for for that a bit further over to this area even though this is not looking so great right it's very tight here so i might actually move it even further outside my port there you go and with that we're also moving all the shipyards away from the from the main city now so kind of like over to this area there you go of course they do need a road connection so we're going to make a a proper harbor road that connects on all these industries here Teamster office, very important. I'm also going to add a metro station for these guys so they do have access to their workplace right away. We just need to make sure that we also have then the uh, the power supply. Eh, ooh, that's very tight. Very tight indeed. So we might still... No, let's actually move this one just one step over so that it has power. Right. And these people definitely do need to have connection to their workplaces. By the way, with the shipyards, do we have any kind of modernization aluminium we could use now in order to boost my output here meanwhile the in new industries are coming along just fine also i've moved the furniture factory over of course because that was still missing and yeah we would have also assembly line here with 25 megawatt of power we get 100 percent efficiency out of it that's pretty good nice deal here and workers require high school education and the decreases the plant consumption let's go ahead with this as high schools are of course my most um, most of my employees at this point. Let's increase the budget for the electronics factory and have right away the assembly robot increases production by 50%, but we require 100 megawatt of power. Ooh, this is hard. I will wait on that because I will need a bit more power before I can pull the trigger on this. Um, the building gets an additional instock of corn. We can produce plastic out of corn with the biopolymer fabrication facility. Let's do this too. 
and we do already have a corn plantation here that is however producing the corn for my factories right so i do need to have another one here which is fine because of course that's always some more educated workers that we can employ with that that's corn and yeah that's another plantation And ladies and gents, there it is. Also, we are producing now officially electronics, the modern gold that we have. Plastic and gold are in and they're being consumed right away. Let's just check it out there. My gold mine is producing fine. The workers use the vehicles to get to the place. That is fine for me. I will not build a metro station just for this one. And also quickly, there's the new factories coming up, the fashion companies. They look fancy, to be honest. <laughs> Let's increase the budget. Uh, increases housing quality of residential buildings. All right, I guess, with the factory outlet. And we do have an efficiency here of 127 right now. Of course, this can get up there over time. Leather and cloth in. One of them needs to be in for this to be successful. And we have here our three textile mills that are producing the cloth. Lots of it, too. So they will be quite busy. Of course, it's very important to find the right trade routes as well for all the new productions. And apparel, there it is. That is our latest good that we produce right now with the Middle East. Let's go ahead and sign a good trade contract there with 30% almost um, on increased prices. Do we have canned food, uh, canned goods? Yes, we do have that. Cars we have right now, furniture we have, coffee, apparel. Nothing for electronics right now. I can't find a, an electronics trade route. It's fine. It, it'll come, I'm sure of it. And yeah, with that, we have dropped unemployment rate quite significantly. With 1,400 people living in Tropical, right now we have 43 unemployed, which is primarily high schools, some uneducated as well. But that is totally fine, right? This will not be a major problem for me right now. Homeless people, though, we have a lot, and that's the well-off. This is a major problem right now that's accumulating now. Um, vacant homes, we don't have enough homes anymore for these people. This is good, so that means we need more housing. The housing market needs to do some readjusting here. And with that, yeah, well, Tropical can grow. Um, I think this is going to be our big downtown area at some point now, right? So we already have the shopping mall in the center of it. Lots of people here. We have the metro station here. And this is where basically modern buildings are coming in now. So for example, the modding apartment, we can go ahead with more of these normal apartments as well for the well-off or better, right? So this is, uh, yeah, this is one of them that gives me a nice, a nice housing there. And it looks nice too. So let's go ahead and have some more apartments than in, in this area here, basically. So I guess that we still have the normal houses here. I mean, that's really far away from my industry, right? So we need to make sure that we also build some more houses than closer to the industry. Oh my goodness. <laughs> that automated mine here is not doing a good job of increasing the 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 area, right? So we definitely need to to do something here. There's also a new um, product here, aluminium, that we can now finally process. And that's also, of course, going to be used with one of my automated mines. Unfortunately, it is pretty central to the to the city, right? But we, we don't have an option there, really, other than importing it. And importing is expensive. We would have two more aluminium on the other side. Might be possible for the future, too. Uranium, um, only one deposit, as far as I can see, two. But I will not need that. Nickel, we have two mines already. And that's also the maximum we can get out of it. Coal, uh, there would be more coal up here. That is just really important for all my steel industry, which will, of course, be always in high demand. And then there's iron. And as we can see, perfect. We can actually squeeze in one more automated mine just here by the airport. I would like to continue restructuring a bit further with the Teamster offices. So, of course, they don't make sense really close to the city, right? They make sense in my industrial zone. So let's squeeze in two more Teamster offices that we have here, those two, into this area just beside the metro station. So they will have direct access then as well and also very close to the industry zone. Parking garages make sense everywhere, really. So this is not something I need to, to, to bother here. The circus makes a lot, most sense for me a bit further outside, right? So it's not something that you usually have within the city. So let's move this a bit further away. And the fast food joint, let's get this one to the parking garage. That's also better. And with that, we can restructure the city to our liking. The metro station, let's have this on the other side. Oh, what is that? Middle East, Prince Tari. 
I need entertainment, and I've realized that you are more than happy to fulfill my capricious whims. Finish a fantasy review four times. All right. Oh, we do have only 180. But this would lead to a diplomatic state with the with the Middle East to alliance. But I'm going to discard this one as I don't want to have an alliance with them. I want to have an alliance with the EU and the USA, to be honest. And we're working on that a bit harder. By the way, could I squeeze in some apartments here? That would be perfect. Yeah, we could, but it's tight. It is too tight for my taste. By the way, I totally forgot my very first industry, my rum distillery, is still here in the area too. So let's move this over. This is like a relic of the past, right? This rum distillery here. So we definitely should keep that. I'm not destroying that. So far so good, we have boosted our, or we have actually really built up our industry zone, right? And 1983 we are, foundation is set for some very good juicy exports. We lost definitely a lot of money in the process, so we're still around 1 million only. Haven't really grown there. And in that case, onwards to more tropical. Stay tuned. <laughs>